Hey guys, Christy here from The Soul Life and thanks for coming back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about something in regards to HoneyBook that can be super useful, but there's definitely some question marks around it. That is HoneyBook tasks. So today in this video, we're gonna be talking about HoneyBook tasks, what they are in general and how to also set them up in automation. So before I start this video, I wanna talk about task management in HoneyBook because a lot of people try to use it as a project management tool where really it's great for just a few one-off tasks when you are trying to manage them within a project. So in the task section, you can add a task manually just as a reminder, or you can have tasks triggering through automations. This may be say one week before a project kicks off, you can set it to remind you to send a client gift. But when it comes to actually task management and project management, if you have a lot of things going on in your business, it's better actually to have a project management tool. Our favorite is ClickUp. But if your business is more simple and there really only are a few main things you have to do per project, HoneyBook Tasks could be a great option for you. So this is going to be just a quick tutorial on what HoneyBook Tasks are, how to create them one-off, and then how to also set them up in automations. Let's dive in. So here we are in the HoneyBook tasks section. So you can access this from the home, home screen where it says tasks or in this tools tasks section. And so here you'll see this is set to today, but I could see all if I go like this, I could see it coming up this week overdue approvals, which would be any emails that are waiting for approval or things like that tasks and then completed. So to add a new task, you're just going to click add task. I could call this test task two and then pick a due date for that. Then you're going to see search for projects. So you can either add this to a project name or you can just leave it as a generic task within here. So basically it's going to pop up on the days that it's due and then remind you to do that. Then you can just mark it as complete and then move on with your day. So another thing is if you go into a specific project, you'll see this is John Smith. If I add a task within here, so check in with John, and then I mark this as today, it's gonna show up in here in John's project, but it's also gonna show up if I refresh this in my task section, check in with John, and then I can always hover over here and then go to the project by clicking that little go to project button. So whether I check it off in John's project itself or go back into the task section, either way, it'll update in both places. So that's just adding a basic task within a project or within the task section. Now let's talk about task triggering from automations. So here I just have this example automation that immediately after the automation is activated, it creates a task test task, okay? So you can do this for send client gift. You could do this for check in with XYZ or send this information prepare branding, et cetera, right? Edit um, this person's photography, their, send over their gallery, et cetera. But let's show you when I add this automation to John Smith's project. So click add automation, and then I'm gonna do example automation. I'm gonna quick apply this and then show you what happens. So when I refresh, then it's going to bring that task into my task section. So test task, it's coming in from the example automation. And then when I go into the task section, you're gonna see test task coming from test project, which was John Smith. So when I check this off, it's also gonna check off in John Smith. So that is it, pretty simple. But I hope that gave you a little bit of clarity on how to add tasks in a project itself and through an automation and then just adding a generic task within your task section. So I hope that video was helpful for you and you have a better understanding of what the task section in HoneyBook is really 
good for. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are just diving into HoneyBook and you feel like you need really that step-by-step -step support with all the video tutorials you could ever want, make sure to check out our system school. I will link it in the description below where we have an entire course on HoneyBook and some awesome plug and play templates for you to kickstart your HoneyBook journey. If you have any other HoneyBook questions that you would like me to answer, make sure to drop them in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Yeah.